concept was simple. Spend a week hiking through Snowdonia, ticking off as many mountains as possible. What started off as a pleasant walk through the countryside quickly turned sour. With waist deep grass, super steep slopes, threats of hypothermia at 2 a.m., ruined feet and muscles, and constantly wet clothes. We soon realized this would be the toughest week of our lives. This is Snowdonia the hard way. The start of the uh, Snowdonia <laughs> Official start of the trip in Dolgechai, or as the locals call it, Dolgaloo. We got off the bus in Dolgechai and eased ourselves in slowly by walking a shorter distance than normal, heading up into the foothills of the Renogs and camping out in a ruined farmhouse. Mr. Wild Wales, be up. It's been for a quick MOT. Now, the first tip of this trip make sure your rope is nice and clean. <laughs> It's vital. Sweating like hell, yeah? Today is the easy day, apparently. About four or five kilometers to go. Just finding loads of ruined buildings everywhere now. Just give them to me, I'll have one. First challenge. I'll just take a white berth or something. Ah, oh, three of them. Ah, they're pretty tired. I don't think you're going to do anything, are you? Just having a rest, like. Path has disappeared. We're in the dense stuff. It's only a few hundred metres. Right, come up onto the field, it's a bit easier going. Getting somewhere. <laughs> this is an untested route. We're finding the problems now. Check this out. Not a lot of water on there, but what a pool. Welcome to my home for tonight. This old ruined farm. Amazing view down the valley. Not the best pitch ever. There's a slight breeze, it's going to blow away. Drufa's up there, underneath his lovely little tree. Look at my view. That's unbelievable. If you look just down the edge of the savannah there, there's the rare Snowdonia giraffe. I've just started off with the sober noodles, so that's going to be my coffee cup now for the rest of the trip. And i got a choice of these now. I need another meal in me. Beef and potato stew, pasta and pork kebab stew, or chicken tikka masala. Waterproof socks. Waterproof socks. See how sweaty it is though. It's kitted right. out for the winter, yeah? I'm not yeah? running tonight. Yeah, there's a bit of a breeze coming now, it's pretty chilly now. There's a wind guard he's made. What do you say? 29 grams or something? 29 grams. What have you got there, Mr. Wild Wales? Fantastic. The babs too. Real tomat. Tastes amazing, right? Eh? Yeah, good, don't I? Mm. How much meat is in it? Nah, they are good. And I'm on the uh, beef stew. End of 
day one hitting the sack. I haven't felt great today. Constant headaches. I think I've drunk enough. I've had about probably four litres. Yeah. Let's hope for better tomorrow. That's, that's all squared away. This has got to be one of my favourite spots. What an amazing view. So today, we're going up the Renogs. I'll show you that on the map. It just does not look like you can walk up there at all. So we've got Renogvach, Renogvau, down and then back up another big ridge to the second campsite. We're off to a tricky start. Couldn't find the path. So we're wading through the deep stuff. And the grass is up to my waist. Path is apparently down by them rocks. <laughs> Gonna come right over us, man. stuff keeps away midges. Bog myrtle is called. I'm gonna try it out. If I come out in a rash I'll let you know. <laughs> Still trying to wade through the stuff. Oh so I'll go on this morning. Keeping up morale. Wild blueberries. Stuns ya. Little slate quarry. Some people grafted out to live in by there. Hard going. Rain's coming down quite a bit now, so we're gonna have to stash you away for a bit. Catch you later. We've stopped on the summit of Rinogvach, just for a bit of brekkie. So I won't feel it in the tent this morning. I'm going with some chocolate muesli. Got most of my meals from base camp foods for this trip. Chocolate muesli. Rinog Vach! The most Welshy way possible, like. Rinog Vach! <whistles> Much of a view up there, mine. First mountain of the trip. Coming down up Renogvach is a bit hairy. We're walking the wrong direction. Oh, clouds are just clearing now, it's looking amazing. So somewhere up there is Renogvau. It's near vertical trying to get down, yeah? I gotta go up the next mountain now. Oh. Diane. A little snack. We got a slice of bread and some nut cream. Bread doesn't look too bad, actually. I don't know how long it's been in there. And the nut cream's obviously peanut butter. Halfway up Renog Vow now. Living the dream. Could be stuck in the house now. Uh, not dying of <laughs> exhaustion. Yeah. Oh, be I tell you it. what, they're hard mountains, aren't they? Oh, that's a different gravy, I says. Blows uh, snow do uh, snow and that out, uh, out of the water of the Renogs, yeah. isn't it? Well, I'm hoping it's going to get easier from here. <laughs> Renogs. 
Renog Vol. I think it's the top. <laughs> it might be. There she is. Renog Vol. Renog Vol. It's one of them. Descending the mountain. Oh, where's he gone? <laughs> Too fast for me, huh? Descending the mountain in the rain. Need to try and find the Roman steps. We're going down to 200 meters. Back up again. Up to the next one. Up to the next. Up to, I can't remember the name, it's about 600 odd meters though. Doesn't look like you can walk up there, does it? We're going through the rock field of Schlindy. It's looking proper moody today. Well, I've seen today, uh, it's the first time I've ever been here in my life. Yeah. Ooh, some loose ones, yeah. That's the end of that mental path. We're on the Roman steps. That's the emergency campsite for if we were too knackered today. I think there's only five or a night. We're planning to go <laughs> close to the top of that. It's about four o'clock now, so yeah, we got a good few hours, haven't we? We're following quite a bit of this, except going over all the mountains. <sighs> Need the final destination. Whew. The tents are up. Not a bad spot. Just stop short of our target. We we're going to get the top of that. But we are nagged. Cramping all over now. So we got some food on. Pulled pork and I got um, chicken tikka masala. Have a bit of that, boy. Oh, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he likes that, yeah. I don't know if you'll appreciate the spicy sauce I put on there, mate. <laughs> Morning. Slept like a baby last night. Had about 10 hours. Hoping to get going before 8 o'clock now, it's about quarter past 7. Up that big hill, along the top of the ridge, down past the power plant, into Camorthen Quarry. Sounds easy, but up till now, everything's been harder than I thought it was going to be. So, <laughs> we'll see you know. Socks are still soaking from yesterday. A bit of vases going on the toes. We're straight back into it this morning. <sighs> Weather's gone a bit rough. We've got to navigate the ridge. And every time we're looking at the phone, we're walking the wrong direction. It's really disorientating. Uh, we'll work our way through it now. Yeah. <laughs> Getting lost. 
Just in the mist. I stopped raining. Droof has picked up the pace because he's after an all-day breakfast and a pint <laughs> together. And this is our highlight of the day. We're gonna go see the nuclear power plant. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Pit stop time. Mix grill. Aye, He's ordered a mixed grill. I'm going for the steak and ale pie. We're on the cokes, it's still early. Making the most of the facilities. <laughs> Push his head down now so his horns go down. Sort of helping himself, is he? Yeah. Oop, he's nearly had it and sideways. It's a top on it, isn't it? That's it, pull his nose down, you got it. Hey! Get it, there, son. Right, we're making progress now. One girl and a dog have said she's going to come and meet us. And she's actually going to bring us some beers tonight. And that is what we actually need. Well, <laughs> we held that out in the pub there. Well, at the end of this now we're going to need them, I think. Crossing the tracks. We are allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to the pub, we've had three pints, we're feeling all right. <laughs> nice and mellow. Nice and mellow. Got the calories in for the walk tomorrow, no? Will I ride? <laughs> right, the big reveal. Whoa. It's like an unboxing video. Oh my word. It's all chilled for us and everything. Oh man, she's gone all out here. <laughs> the mother load. Thank you very much. There's definitely some ghosts in there. We've met up with one girl and a dog now. Minus the dog. <laughs> all right. Let's go check this building out, shall we? It's windy up here. Get in there, son. Here is our spot for tonight. First, the 
mad squirrel. Never tried that before. Yeah, get, just get some. Problems. Ba 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 ba. What? Oh no! <laughs> Look at these beasts. Uh, here's a setup. Game of Thrones chair. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Then we got Top City. Beaver Town Super Moon. Look at that. This be the worst day so far as it has for weather yeah. or rain, yeah. Right, while well, we're on the subject. Here's the winner of the Campman Olympics. No. <laughs> <laughs> the most folks you had about uh, yeah, about ten more than uh, the next person. So. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he won it. <laughs> Congratulations. I was just asking him as well. I was like, who's won the World Camping Olympics? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Nice and dry, this is what it's about. Oh man, happy day. <laughs> You're not going to give up, are we? It's wild! Wild camping! We're going to get to the end, are we? <laughs> <laughs> He's holding on to the tent and blow away. Samson! <laughs> Hot diggity! I just woke up. I just woke up. And the flies eat us off. Oh, yeah. Just in my other tent. I don't know if it's a no. no. Chill on the air. I just can't stop shaking. Oh my god. That's like a man who sings there right in the meal of the camp. Supposed to be attached. It's about two or three foot away. Oh my god, my hand is still here again. We've left Cat behind now. Fair play to her, she's taking all her rubbish. Let me a sleeping bag because mine's soaking. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely saved our lives. Oh, fair, do you diamond, fair play? No, but I was panicking a bit last night with that uh, soaking sleeping bag and stuff. I was thinking maybe we should just have two nights in the hostel or something, just dry out. But, yeah, it should be alright now. Let's hope. Lucky, and we got a dry morning as well, that helps. Unbelievable. Look at it. Front lens is fogged up, so you'll have to have my face for a bit. Why's it going down there? Feel the chill coming out there. Freeze it. We're lost in the mist again. I haven't got a lot of battery. Both got the maps. I'm down about 20% battery long. So I might catch you tonight if I survive. Day four of the trip, I designed as a rest day because I knew after that long one the day before. It turns out we were absolutely shattered. We had to head over the ridge, passing through some beautiful slate quarries, and find sanctuary in the woodland. The rain was still bucketing down. We got our tents up about three o'clock in the afternoon. By half past three, we were asleep. We've been properly fatigued today. Um, I planned for today to be 
a bit of a rest day anyway. So we only did nine kilometers to get here. We had to wade through some really deep stuff we weren't expecting. Bogs, everything is soaked in. I've stopped bothering him trying to dry stuff out now. It's just in a wet bag. We're just praying for some dry weather. <laughs> We've camped in the trees, nice and sheltered, after what happened to me last night. I don't want to risk being out there again. Uh, right next to a really big lake. And tomorrow we got to do a steep climb right up a hill. And then as we come over the brow of the hill, we next to snow done then. <sighs> Hopefully, after a good night's nice rest, we should be able to do it. Doesn't we'll feel do like it. I can at the moment. Don't worry, we'll do it. We'll do it, sir. For tea tonight. Passed from sauce, bulked out with cheddar cheese sauce. Should fill me up nice. Morning breakfast, porridge and sultanas. I've run out of coffee, so we've got peach energy drink. Wet t shirts going back on. Wish me luck. Uh. <laughs> Day five started. We were absolutely soaked to the skin. Before we even got to the foothills of Snowdon, as we were climbing up there, Drufa started complaining about feeling cold. I was very concerned about him getting hypothermia. When we hit the top of Snowdon, the wind and the rain was absolutely sideways. It was horrific. And there was a bit of a race to try and get down as quick as we could. One thing led to another, and we had to go down the opposite side of the mountain, leading to this being a very long day. We're heading up that super steep mountain pass. I mean, there's a fence up there, so someone's walked it. Oh, we'll see now. Right to start the climb. We're praying for some dry weather today. So we can't go on, I like guess, just wearing wet clothes every day. We just soak through to the skin. Good news is, we are in a hostel tonight, so we will be drying out then. Rain stopped, getting in the swing of it. I think we're gonna give it a go now. Maybe not Crip Go. Well, you can hear the wind is pretty rough and wet. But we'll assess it when we get up there. Right, we're breathing it, we're on the pig track. Making progress here. It's a bit blowy. We'll get it done. We've sacked off Crib Go. All the clothes are drenched and there's a heck of a wind up here so we've got a bit of sense of times on here. Come up here and do that again. The girls who were busy sat there enjoying the sandwiches at me hurtling full speed towards them with my walking post. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought that was the path. <laughs> I took a diversion off the path to the plow straight through. <laughs> The fear on their faces. Sorry. Truth has made some meats. I bet they get fed scraps all day. Caneth, you gain! Yes! Oh, there we go. Oh, God, going over the hell of an effort. Yeah! Right back down. <laughs> Trying to get up to Snowdon. No one's saying hello anymore. They're all just getting down off the hill. We're gonna get the summit and sort our risky plan. Snowdon! <laughs> I've got to stop this a moment. We 
went halfway up a Llywedd, didn't realise how extremely steep it was. We turned to scramble in, but there was a massive gust of wind which nearly blocked, knocked us off our feet. And it was at this point we decided to turn around and go back down the Watkins path to safety. We're not going to go up there. Huh? We're not going to do it. It's way too windy, man. It's got bonkers up here. We need to get down. So we're going the extra long route down the Watkins path. We've come up the wrong side of the mountain, actually. But we've been treated to some amazing scenery. So, there's that. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to walk quite a bit further now, on the road, back up, up the Penna Pass. It's been a catalogue of errors, never mind. We've come down off Watkins Path, we're about six and a half kilometres away from our final destination. Cafe was shut. It's all smiles here, yeah, it is. Bus doesn't come for another two hours, so we thought we may as well lump it. Let's get going, we'll get there now bed last night. <laughs> I had everything drying out. It's been a godsend. We had two people sleep in here. We've been stinking them out, but it had to be done. And we're opposite probably the most expensive car park in Wales. It's 40 quid a day. Day six is a go. We're leaving our hostel. We've got Glidavar, Glidavach, <coughs> Trovan, and then we're camping by Funon Lawyer, which translates as Moon Pool. Back there he is, he? Mountain Goat. Size of his horns. <whistles> right, all them wet days have taken their toll. Rubbed. Rubbed so raw. Holy heck. He's been rubbed raw. <laughs> Look at the views we got now though. Stunning. That's a slewed in the distance that we got within 20 meters of the top, do you reckon? Yeah. And we're going up here today. The top is somewhere up there. You just about see a cairn up there. Stunning views now. Passing Castes Aguint, which, as you'll see, it's not one for climbing with a rucksack on your back. So, skirting around that to Glidavach. Little hidey hole in a storm could save you. Cracking views again we got. Can't beat it. Every single day. <laughs> What's under this? Oh, Adam and Steve, is it? Eh? I'm gonna attempt Adam and Steve. <laughs> 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 Happy days. <laughs> Glitterbach. I'm claiming this. There's no way I can get up to that. I'm just full of excuses today. <laughs> I've obviously seen the drops here, man. I'm surprised we got this close, mate. 
do that again. Yeah. Trevon, the next one to conquer. We're gonna go down into the valley, back up, and it's a bit of a scramble. Can I just remind you of something? <laughs> Full pack. That's where we were just now. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where we're going next. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> Is it? Alright, go more left then. That's the serious side then. <laughs> Trovan! <laughs> It's on the top of Trubbin. Heck of a cliff this side. Man, Shia, Colin Shia. That's crazy. We're the only ones mad enough to go up in full rucksacks. Just trying to get down with them now. There's our next one. We're camping just below tonight. Wow. Coming down the west face of Trovan. Gonna head around to the north of it now. Cut over the road. And up the next mountain, why not? <coughs> well, we're getting down, but it's extremely slippery. It's all scree. Goodbye, Trovan. Cool mountain now, us. What a difference a bit of sun makes. Stunning. We started behind that mountain, we came up these, up this one, and I'm going up this big slope here. Peneral Wen, I think we're going to summit that tomorrow. River Pate on Biscuit Starter. Look how happy that girl is. She loves her liver Pate. Stopping over a little bit of food. You stay on the menu. What are you having? I've got a creamy cold pork pasta. Hey, hey. A cup of coffee now. Trail fix. Don't know why I didn't think that the night before last. Nice. Camp sorted. Right next to each other. Flat the spots. And that is the morning's mission. About 300 odd meters up from here. Camping at about 620 meters, I think, today. So it's going to be a bit chilly tonight. What a spot, though. It's 
quite a few trout jumping about in this river. There you go. No river. Flynn. Spot the trout. Like a spot of tent as well, actually. Ready to hit the car now, though, today. So we're ticking off about six or seven big mountains, I think. Once we get up this big one now, it's about 350 meters up. It's just staying along the ridge all day. First thing they go in the bin when they get the hostels, these shorts. So, yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ripping more and more every time I bend over. <laughs> right, let's get back on the trail. Day seven, the final day of the trip. The sun finally came out for us. <laughs> we went up the Carnethai. Quite a lot of mountains were ticked off on this day. Our final destination was Abba Gwingregan, past Abba Falls, which is a 120 foot waterfall, and we'd be spending the final night in Conwy. Penrill Wen! So we're coming up to a really big can. It looks like it's been built. A lot of these were placed in high up areas, used as burial mounds for important people. Oh. Yeah, it's a good shelter. Could tuck him there for a minute. It's quite calm today. Wind has eased right off. Canis David! Ooh. Views, man. That one, actually. That, I think that's a rare then. Yeah. Do a diversion to get that tree yeah. and go back. Might as well, me. So we've got Canis Llewellyn, a rare then, double back. Above the clouds. Climbing all the mountains, all the mountains that we can see. <laughs> yeah, baby. There we go. Carneth David, the one we just done. Looks more impressive from outside. Carneth Llewellyn! We've gone down the hill, back up to our other island. And we gotta climb kind of slow in again then to go back. Harellen! Oh man. He got half a piece on for this one. <whistles> Struggling to keep up. Alright, getting energy drinking me on, I think. Yeah, I got that's chocolate. Volgrach! Look at this little hut. I didn't know this was here. Yeah, you could camp up here. You're about 970 metres, mind. <laughs> Papau! Emergency shelter. Oh my god, I can't even see. I can only see all my phone. Yeah, I'll get the total choke up.
Could be a lifesaver. Oh, it's a lot warmer than that, isn't it? Yeah. Live once again. Nice day. That's about to hit us. It's weird, isn't it? It's just staying in that valley for a minute. So we're going up uh, Volvras next. Well, we're coming towards the end. No snow down your track. We've got two more mountains to go. A big waterfall. Someone told me biggest in Wales. I don't know. We'll soon see. And then we'll mull it all over with a handmade pizza on a pint, I think. <laughs> Well, Vars. Shoot more. A nice can. Up, shoot more. Just need to zigzag away down this slope now. Then we can fall that valley down. So when you look at OS maps, the black dashed line, sometimes they're gravel paths, sometimes it's that. You just can't tell. Airplane engine. It's almost come to an unfortunate end in this valley. the end the pain is written on our faces his feet are done in my muscles are done in the bus stop is the end we're nearly there <laughs> an underwhelming end <laughs> we found the bus stop man Happy days. <laughs> we've made it to Conwy I'm gonna go for a celebratory pint the wreck a celebratory pint Oh yeah, much needed. Oh yeah. Cheers. What gear worked, what didn't. These poles, best thing I brought. They worked all day and all night. Crivet brand. All day. All night. Worst things. Viva la fiesta. <laughs> the top tent notch. Let me down. Um, I'm still going to keep using it, but I need to put some more peg out points on it. Six peg out points is not enough. It's too much pressure. Another one to let me down. Same brand, Crivet Shorts. Ripped the first day. <laughs> Everyone can see my boxes from then on in. Would not recommend. I think it's just because it's all super light. It's not even on the stitch end, you know. It's off the side. Worst part of the trip for me was coming down off Truven and my legs were, in, legs were in absolute agony. I was having to stop every two minutes just to stretch them out. Day four was quite a low point as well because we'd been soaked for two days running and we were absolutely shattered. High points for me has got to be Going up Snowdon, I felt really good that day. I was just flying up there. And I think one girl and a dog bring us all those beers that really lifted the morale that did. If you haven't seen their channel, go and check that out. What was your best kit best for the trip? Uh, probably my tent. Tent was perfect, didn't it? Went well, didn't it? Yeah. Didn't let me down. Yeah, my down stuff was really good. Yeah, kept you nice and warm, didn't it? Yeah, dry bags could have been a bit bad. I like they were a bit damp. And what was your worst thing? 
Worst thing. Uh, I think, oh, I'm probably, expecting you to say this. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, sir. That, uh, <laughs> this pile of pop. How many times has that pop? It's got about, Jesus, it must have about 14 bloody patches on it. No way. Easy 14 patches. That's getting sent straight back to Australia. What was the best part of that trip? This best one? part? Probably Trevon. That was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah, old Guild of old Guild of Ar, Trevon. Yeah, that day. Yeah, I like that day. That old day was good, wasn't it? I liked it all, but you have to be fair, even the crap was good, wasn't it? Yeah. But it, no, the crap was crap at times as well. <laughs> what was the worst bit of? Just being constantly soaked, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the worst part. Wet feet. Wet feet. Definitely seven, messed seven you up. Days. <laughs> That's why my feet are but no, they're comfortable trainers, don't get me wrong. We've got a prize giveaway from the last video, the Camping Olympics. So let's get this random picker to do his thing. And looks like we've got a winner. Well done, mate. Welsh Fire Outdoors. Get in touch and I'll send you the rucksack. Like some <laughs> <laughs> Swiney. So we're now going to get our heads down the last place of the trip. Shout out to the subscribers. Thank you very much for following my channel, everybody. Hope you enjoy that video. Catch you again next time.